Hi readers, it's Lori. Welcome back to my channel, Books, Ink, and Paper. I'm a little bit, I feel like I'm off. <laughs> I can't be any different. I'm, I'm asymmetrical today. I don't know what would help. Maybe I need a plant back there. I don't know. Anyway, I have a different perspective today because I think this camera angle is wider. I pulled my desktop back out to use. I have not done since we moved. I have had a love-hate relationship with my desktop the last year or so when I have run out of capacity for my uh, RAM. I was really frustrated with it, but I tried to do some cleanup and I'm hoping that maybe if I just do certain tasks on the desktop, that that will help to keep it into its own capacity and maybe we can get along again better this year. We'll see. So I have a different camera view. I have a bad hair day because I took a shower last night I mean, I guess it's not a bad hair day. It's just a weird hair day. I took a shower last night, slept on my hair. It was dry, but slept on my hair. You know how that doesn't sometimes work out. So yeah, it's just a weird Monday, Monday morning for me filming this anyway. So today I want to talk about books that are calling me to come back to them for the month of June. Uh, I've been really, you know, as you know, said this more than once, I was in a reading slump for a bit of May. I was really kind of trying to figure out how to get out of that reading slump. And I had, you know, oh, maybe I should do this. What's really calling me? And there are some, some books that are calling me. But also I chose a different path in the end for May. So we'll talk about that in an upcoming video when I do my May wrap up. But these are the books that I did not, I started and did not finish. And some of them more recently than others. And I'm still committed to them. So I didn't DNF them at this point firmly. I just put them aside for a bit of time to come back to. And so now is the time, I think June is the time to come back to them. So we'll see how this goes. You know, I don't do well with a TBR. This is kind of a TBR and it's kind of a bold TBR. So let's get started with my nonfiction pick for this quarter. Well, your nonfiction pick for me for this quarter is this Chicago Cubs story of a curse by Rich Cohen. My friend gave me this. It's autographed. I've had it for several years now. I'm committed to it because we picked it together and it is baseball season and the Cubs are doing fairly well. They are in third place last time I looked, which isn't bad at all. I'm not far into it really not far into it at all, but I do am enjoy, enjoying it. I think it'll be a fast read once I actually commit to it, but for reasons that will become uh, more clear to you soon, I'm not going to read it in the month of May. So I need to get back to this in June because the quarter ends in June. Again, this is nonfiction story of the history of the Cubs, the curse of the Cubs that prevented them from winning more than two World Series, which, you know, do you believe it or not? But if you don't know, spoiler alert, it has something to do with a goat and an angry man. So this is kind of a history of the club, and I like that, obviously. So I don't think that I will have any trouble getting to that one, and it'll be fast and easy. This one, I started in May listening to it on audio. I was challenged during the slump, as you know. So I thought maybe if I find the physical copy of it in my book boxes, I will finish it more quickly. I can't find the physical copy in my book boxes. I mean, I could if I really dug through to the bottom of some of them, but or open some that aren't open, but I'm just not that's a lot. So I went to my library and jokingly said to Richard, my one of my favorite librarians, I need to borrow a book that I already own and can't find. <clears throat> First world problems, right? So he had it sent to me through interlibrary loan through one of the other libraries uh, nearby. And I got it the other day. It seems like a lot thicker in hardback than my copy is in paperback, but maybe it's just the print, um, the font, you know, size, I don't know. But anyway, I was struggling with it, but I don't think it's this book. I think I was struggling with it because of my slump. So I think I will be able to finish this pretty easily too. So these first two should be 
fast and furious, right? In honor of the fact that it June is Pride Month and in honor of the fact that I started this and really did like it, just did not prioritize it. Let me get the lighting right here. The lighting is crazy today. I want to finish Razor Blade Tears by S.A. Cosby. I've never read anything by S.A. Cosby. A lot of my friends really like him. Uh, let me make sure he's a him because, yep, I thought he was. Because lately, you know, I have been mixing genders when people have initials as their um, pen names. <laughs> okay. S.A. Cosby is a man. Uh, this novel follows a gay couple two men who are murdered and there's not a lot of energy around investigating what happened to them and why they were murdered and who did it. So their fathers step up to try to figure this out. Their fathers have a history of insensitivity to and, and, and non-acceptance of their sons um, as gay men. Their fathers also have a history of being in prison for one thing or another. So they are going to partner together, not having known each other at all until Isaiah and what's the other man's name? Isaiah and Derek were murdered. They had no real connection before that. So now they're connected by this crime and the desire to, you know, find some resolution to the murder of their boys. It is a short read. I don't, obviously it's a book of the month selection that I picked long ago. Um, it doesn't say what month, isn't that interesting? They say what month now. I picked it so long ago, oh yeah, they do. I just put it in backwards in the jacket. No, I didn't. It is, I told you guys. Okay, here's my book. <laughs> Here's the print. Here's the imprint of the month, which was July, 2021. So it will be almost two years since I got this book that I'm going to actually read it. And I wonder if book of the month knows that that happened. Hmm, quite interesting discovery today. Anyway, I would like to get back to this. It's not that I didn't like it particularly, just at the time I wasn't tracking with it. It was probably around the time we moved and I just, I don't know, I don't remember when it was, but it's been a long time since I started it. Okay, here's the, here's the behemoth on the list. I need to finish this. It is the second to the last in the series where she is currently. There is another one coming out. Uh, this is my first that I, no, that's not true. I had started an Echo in the Bone and I didn't finish it when it came out. And so I finished it last year, I think. And I started this this year. Maybe I finished it at the start of the year. I don't really think that matters. Anyway, I started this fairly soon after about this far in. I'm not actually sure because I listened to them too. And so if I don't catch up with my bookmark, I may be inaccurate in this regard, but they're so long. This one is 850 some pages, I think. They're always so long. They're good. They are becoming more and more difficult for me to read and to finish quickly. And I don't know if that's because I'm kind of like the series isn't as exciting as it was to me when I first started. I don't know if it's because I'm afraid of choices she's going to make and I don't want those choices to be made. I'm not sure if it's my age and my attention span. It could very well be that. Uh, I don't know, but it is hard for me to keep with these books. Now, I'm not going to tell you anything about this particular book because if you haven't read the others, that would be a huge spoiler, but there is a shift in where they live from where it started. Certainly there's a shift in their involvement in current historical events where they are now. And yeah, they're, they're, these are great. They're very well written historical fiction, if you didn't know. And 
Also, there is a great attention to detail that sometimes I find unnecessary. <laughs> so I'm having trouble with that too. And I guess when I was younger, I was just, oh yeah, bring it all on. And now I'm just kind of like, uh, okay. So one of my dear, dear friends, Wanda, who has been reading this series with me from the start almost, I think, um, she kind of got behind more so than me even, I think, but not terribly. And so she's like trying to catch all up all of a sudden and she's just ripping them out. Like she's probably ahead of me now. And so there's a slight internal pull toward being caught up so that I'm on the same pace <laughs> as my friend, like not a competition, but just so that we can, you know, talk about them. Cause for a while I couldn't say anything cause I didn't want to spoil anything for her. And now I think this, the, I think that shifted. I think she's maybe ahead of me a little bit, but there's also that like, since she's been picking them back up again, it kind of made me feel called to pick them back up again too. Will I finish this in June? The likelihood is no, um, unless this is all I focus on. But I mean, several of these are small. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm going to get back to it. And I might listen to most of it. Who knows? We'll just kind of see how it goes. But it is nice to have them on audio as well as in hardback because sometimes even carrying this thing. Like, I feel like this is my workout for today, literally. Like I could lift these books uh, and consider myself happy with my <laughs> physical uh, workout for the day. They're just, I wonder how much they weigh. Perhaps I should weigh this and get back to you on that because they are just so heavy and they're heavy to read too. So this is my heavy, heavy stack. <laughs> um, three fairly small, uh, seriously, three fairly small books and one gigantic read. Um, and then, you know, again, I'll just feel confident in my ability to choose something else um, along the way, if I feel called to, but I would, again, like to get back to these. I don't have to get back to them all in the month of June, but it does seem like a good way to start off what is almost the start of a new month. All right. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks for putting up with the weird asymmetrical <laughs> flow. It's always a work in progress. I just like filming in a different place sometimes. I just don't like to be really stuck in the same environment. And I don't know if you feel that way too, but I don't know. I'm pretty, I, I like to shake things up. Okay, guys, thanks for joining me today. Hope you had a good cup of coffee nearby. Um, hope you're having a good reading month so far. Hope you have great plans for June. Let me know what they are. Let me know if you've read any of these or if these are on your list to read. I've heard a lot of buzz about TJ Klune and the sequels. Uh, to this first one. So uh, my intention, I have the second one. I My intention was to read the third one, but I've heard some mixed reviews on that for sure. So we'll see what happens, but I'd like to at least finish the first one before I purchase any more of his. <laughs> that's a queer read too. Now that I think about it, that's a good read for June because it's a queer read as well. So look at me, two queer reads in one month. I'm happy with my plan. Not happy with my hair today, but I'm happy with my plan. Thanks again for watching. Uh, it's always happy reading. Bye.